I think it must be every musician's dream to be asked to perform at Stonehenge. Uh, and this dream did come true for me in 2009 during my time as artistic director of the Salisbury Festival. And the idea was to create a piece for Stonehenge rather than just play any old piece and plonk it in front of the stones. Um, and uh, with my co-writers, uh, uh, Judith Seelig and Tom Morrison, we created, um, uh, I think it was a half an hour piece uh, called Song for Stonehenge. And uh, Judith wrote some wonderful lyrics. Um, if, if the stones could speak, what would they say that they had seen during their lifetime? And we set this to um, uh, a sort of soundscape of Indian percussion and uh, electric guitars. Um, and then I asked Nina Rajarani uh, to choreograph a piece for her Shrishti dancers. Uh, they were dressed in bright red um, colours. Um, one of the things I really remember um, clearly was that uh, because it was dusk, um, us performers had the sun shining in our, into our faces. Um, but as the sun set uh, behind the audience, the audience members' shadows slowly grew bigger and bigger and longer and longer and then eventually engulfed us. And that whole um, time of the evening was very magical. The colours changed from um, sort of orangey, crimsony reds to um, uh, a sort of darker hue of that. But the uh, contrasting colours were so amazing with the dancers and the grass. Um, and it was absolutely magical. I think uh, definitely a once in a lifetime experience. Um, probably something that um, could not happen again. I think um, I really thank English Heritage and Maria for accepting my request to uh, perform in the Stones. Uh, nowadays, uh, as many people have visited Stonehenge, you'll see that there's a cordoned rope around the Stones now, so you can't even um, go close to touch them. Uh, but I remember when I was about 11 years old, my father took me to Stonehenge, and in those days, you could definitely go up to the rocks and sit on some of the smaller stones, uh, but that's now a thing of the past. So, um, an incredible experience, um, great working to create the piece for that um, evening, and uh, something that I never will ever forget as long as I live. So thank you to Salisbury Festival and to English Heritage and to all the musicians and uh, Nina Rajarani. Thank you. The Stonehenge performance with Kuljeet um, was one of the most memorable projects I've ever done. The challenges of it in terms of it being quite spontaneous on the day um, and the fact that we really didn't know how it was going to come together on the day um, was the most um, exciting part, I think, of the whole process. created um, the dance element in a dance studio with um, very uh, little idea as to how the formations, the spatial arrangements would actually work in the space. We did have a site visit um, and 
there was some vague idea but how it would actually translate when we had all the dancers um, in the space was something that was just left to um, the, the performance itself um, so it was exciting it was quite nerve-wracking for the dancers that space and to have the opportunity to perform um, in between the stones at Stonehenge was um, was something quite unimaginable and even now when I speak to people about it they're quite surprised and saying wow you actually managed to perform on the grass between the stones so that was it was a huge wow factor to the whole to the whole thing The sky was clear, crystal, vibrant blue. The grass was a bright green and there was this um, sun shining this golden warmth on these huge stones. It was as if there was this, uh, well it was as if there was this light and warmth emanating from these huge stones. And then in contrast to that, um, behind the stones, uh, there was the, the, the casting of a very deep, dark shadow opening. That worked on me. Um, that, you know, that whole idea actually had an effect on me that evening. And um, that's something that I, I won't forget. Uh, I feel that we were graced by the sun. Um, so what's really, what really struck me in that whole experience was not so much the presence of the stones themselves, but more I was struck by the, the presence of the sun. invited me to join with the performer team to uh, play a little bit of rhythm. Uh, I just love the atmosphere, the spirituality, the, the weather that day was really spectacular, the sunset was beautiful, uh, the overall atmosphere was really, really great. Uh, it was, I was gobsmacked by the choreography as well, that uh, the, all the dancers, uh, the way they ended it, it, it appears from the, uh, the audience perspective that they disappeared into the storm. It was really great.